hey what's going on guys in this quick tutorial i'll show you how to add this reflection effect in your website by using the elementor page builder we're gonna do this by applying a simple tricks and by following this method you can add reflection with any text image or anything you want so without further ado let's start creating this fun effect okay so in this page first of all i want to add a new section so let's click on this plus icon and click on here and for this section first of all i want to set the height to full height so make it to fit to screen and let's add a background for this section so go to style and i want to choose this gradient background and make the type to radial so from here let's choose the first color to this dark color and the second color to fully black okay now if we hide this panel you can see a glow from the middle and it's become darker at the corner and the edges of this section now in this section i want to add a text so let's go to here and i want to drag an heading widget first of all let's change this text and make the alignment to center from the style tab let's do some design for this text first of all i want to change the color to fully white and from the typography let's make the font to this beautiful font just and make the font weight to more bold 700 and make the font size more bigger okay but here instead of pixel i want to use the vh unit so let's click on here and make it to okay 9.5 so now if we see it from the tablet or mobile devices okay here we can see our font size has been automatically resized with our viewport width so from the mobile it's also looking good and here by using this vw unit we make sure to keep this text in always one line okay now let's go to our desktop device and here now i want to add our reflection so let's go to the advanced tab and from the custom css i want to paste this code snippet and here you can see this beautiful reflection of this heading element so here you don't need to worry about this code snippet i have given this code snippets link on my description you need to just copy this and paste it to here okay now if we look at this reflection here we can see this reflections direction is the opposite of our main element all the letters are here flipped down from the top to bottom which looks great okay but here you can see a huge gap between this main element and this reflection so this gap is created because if we look at this text we have a huge line height for this so from the typography let's first of all reduce the line height so let's make it in em and make it to 0.7 okay now you can see this reflection perfectly okay let's again go to our advanced tab and go to custom css and if we take a look at this css property from here we can change some option for this reflection so let's make it bigger and from here you can see this direction is set to below if we make it to above so now we can see our reflection goes at the above of this main element and here you can use four values the below above left and right so by changing this property you can change the direction of this shadow i want to keep it to default to below and next here this 5 pixel is the gap between this reflection and our main element so if you take a look at this from our preview here you can see here is a small gap between this text and this shadow so we can control this from this css value if we make it to 50 pixel you can see this gap is huge and we can also use negative value to pull it to at the top so if we make it to minus 20 you can see this is now going inside this text okay i want to make it to 5 pixel then from here this linear gradient option you can also change the gradient of this shadow so from here if we remove the linear gradient you can see here is no gradient for this shadow but when we use it you can see a gradient effect from the top to bottom for this reflection 
so here you can see to bottom so that means our gradient has started from the bottom position of this reflection and at the bottom the opacity of this reflection is set to zero and at the top this reflection is semi-transparent so that's why you can see the opacity is set to 0 0.1 so if we make it to fully one okay now you can see it more clearly okay but let's go back to 0 0.1 okay that looks perfect so next we will see how we add a reflection with an image so from here let's duplicate this section and in this section i want to add an image so let's delete this and add an image widget okay let's set an width for this so i want to make it to 300 pixel and let's also make a rounded corner so let's make the border radius to 30 pixel okay now to add this reflection we need to do the same thing so from here if we copy this css code and paste it in this field here now we can see this reflection also for this image okay for this image i want to make this reflection more clear so for this from here let's make our second opacity instead of 0.1 make it to 0.2 okay but here you can see this reflection is exceeded our section so for this i want to reduce the height of this so we can do this easily by changing the linear gradient value so from here if we look at this you can see our first color has been started from the zero position which is around from here and ends at this position so now instead of the zero position i want to start it from this 50 percent position so if we make it to 50 okay now we can see this reflection is looking better and if we look at this section you can see our image is not perfectly vertically aligned to the center so for this we need to go to the section settings and from the column position option i want to make it to top and also give some top padding for this section so let's go to advance and let's give some top padding here 140 pixel okay now our image section is also looking great so right now you can see we have made the reflection at the bottom of this image so if we want to make it to the right side of this image from the custom css of this image we need to make this value to the right okay but here you can see this is here not working it's not working because here we have given the reflection for this whole image widget so you can see this image widget is basically this whole thing and as we make its reflection on the right side so it will go outside of our screen so for our image widget to fix this problem what we can do after this selector we need to write down an image tag so we will target the image tag inside this widget so this whole thing here our image widget and inside this this is our image okay now this is working properly but you can see the reflection direction is not perfect so from here instead of bottom we need to set this to right okay and also if we make it again to zero percent okay now this is working properly also for this image so we have seen how we add this reflection for the image widget or any text or heading widget and you can use this reflection with not only these widgets you can use this with anything on your page so here if we take a look at on this section here we have created this card design by using an inner section so here we have taken an inner section and inside this we have give the column width to 300 pixel and also set this image as background and also give an overlay and above this we have also inserted some text and here if we go to the column settings here we can see in the layout tab we have set the vertical align to bottom so that's why you can see this text at the bottom so here if we want to make the reflection of the whole thing we need to just go to here the column option and go to the advanced tab and we can use here the same css code we have used previously 
so right now we can see the whole thing has been reflected under here you can see the reflection of this text this image this gradient which also looks great and here one last thing i want to show you if we look at this page from the mozilla firefox here we cannot see any reflection so basically this css reflection property doesn't work for this mozilla firefox browser but you don't need to really worry about that too much because around 3% of the user uses this browser so that should not be a biggest concern but if you still worry about the design in this browser you can also check this everything looks perfect also for the mozilla firefox okay so that's how we can create this amazing reflection effect in elementor if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next tutorial